Hello there, next dog, Hello, X here. Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to be continuing our mount collection series by looking at all the mounts available through PvP. May this be through world PvP events or just general honor levels. So, let's get into it. There will be a few explanations before some of these and some of them are quite long. So bear with me on those ones. <laughs> Ink Scale Deep Seeker. Now this one is obtainable through the Battle for Nashital PvP event added in patch 8.2. A win from this event will award you 5 bottle commendations and the loss gives you 1. And you'll purchase this mount once you have 150 of them, which is what's required for this mount, from Craftiest Mindbender in Nashital for the Alliance and Dasnerian in Nashital for the Horde. Next up we have the Marks of Honor amounts for the Alliance. Marks of Honor obtainable from doing no enough any PvP activities in the game, such as Battlegrounds, uh, your weekly PvP tournament chests, uh, PvP world quests, all that sort of jazz. Starting off with the Black War Mammoth. This one is purchased from Knight Damaran in Wintergrasp for 15 Marks of Honor. The Alliance must hold Wintergrasp in order to purchase this mount. Then we have the Black Battle Strider. This is purchased from Lieutenant Carter in the Champions Hall in Stormwind for 15 Marks of Honor. Then you have the Black War Tiger, which is purchased from Lieutenant Carter in the Champions Hall of Stormwind again for 15 Marks of Honor. And then again the Black War Ram, which is purchased once again from Lieutenant Carter in the Champions Hall of Stormwind for 15 Marks of Honor. Then we have the Stormpike Battle Charger, which is obtainable from Fanfeldis Snowgleam, I think I said that right, in the Headland Ulteric Mountains for 15 marks. Then once again from Lieutenant Carter, you have the Black War Alec, uh, which will cost you 15 marks of honour. And then finally, once again from Lieutenant Carter in the Champions Hall in Stormwind, which will cost you 15 marks of honour, you have the Black War Steed. Next, moving on to the mounts for Marks of Honor for the Horde. These are obtained the same way as the Alliance ones through all your daily activities, battlegrounds, world PvP, all that sort of jazz. The first one being the Swift War Strider, which is purchased from Rider Bork in the Hall of Legends in Orgrimmar for 15 marks. Most of these are going to be from him, to be fair. The Black War Kodo, which will cost you 15 marks from Rider Bork. Then you have the Black War Mammoth, which is purchasable from Stone Guard Mukar in Wintergrasp for 15 marks. Horde must control Wintergrasp in order to purchase this mount. They have the Black War Wolf from Raider Bork for 15 marks of honor. The Frost Wolf Howler, this one is obtained from either Grunder Wolfheart in Ulfric Valley or Jorik Ironside in Hillsbrad Foothills for 15 marks of honor. Horde only, of course. Black War Raptor, this is once again purchased from Raider Bork for 15 marks of honor. And then finally we have the Red Skeletal Warhorse, which is purchased for 15 marks from once again Raider Bork. Next up we have the mounts which are awarded for honor levels. Um, in Legion this mount is awarded for reaching certain prestige ranks, but this was changed in Battle of the Wolf to the honor system, making these mounts slightly harder to obtain as you do need more honor per rank. So, at level 15 honor, you will receive the prestigious bronze corsier. Level 40 is the prestigious iron corsier. Level 70 is prestigious azure corsair. 125, you will get the prestigious forest corsair. 150, the prestigious royal corsair. Level 250, the prestigious midnight corsair. And probably the best looking one, of course. Is the prestigious Bloodforged Corsa at rank 500. Next up we have the Halar Talbok mounts. These are obtained when your faction is in control of Halar in the Grand on the Outland. You must also require two different types of tokens to purchase these mounts, one being the Hala Battle Token and the Research Token. The Research Token are completed by handing in 10 a Shugon Crystal Powder Samples to Chief Researcher Armoredeline at Halal for the Horde or the Chief Researcher Cartus for the Alliance. Each time you do this you will receive one Halal Research Token. And then for the Tower Tokens, these are for um, killing any any uh, other player of the opposite faction Sorry, um, in the Towers within 
Drenor. <laughs> so that was effort. So the two mounts you can receive for doing this one, which are purchasable, of course they are, are the Dark Riding Tollbug, which is obtainable from Aldran in Halal for the Alliance, or Coralai in Halal for Negrand, which will require 70 battle tokens and 15 research tokens. And the other mount, the Dark War Tollbook, or from Adrian again for the Alliance, or Cariel for the Horde, and will cost you 100 battle tokens and 20 research tokens. Tolbarad. Now this was a location added in the Mist of Pandora expansion. In order to obtain these mounts, you will have to spend and obtain, of course, Tolbarad accommodations, which are earned by engaging in daily quests on the island, which are non-PvP and PvP. And of course, you will get them um, while doing general PvP battles in the Tolbarad zone itself. So the mounts obtainable are the Drake of the West Wind, this one is purchased from either Quartermaster Brazzi in the Daradin base camp and will be required to be exalted with Baradin's Wardens. Or if you're Horde, you can get this from Pog in Hellscream's Grasp, which will require you to be exalted with Hellscream's Reach, and this mount will cost you 200 commendations. Then you have the Spectral Wolf, which is the Horde exclusive mount, which is purchased from Pog in Hellscream's Grasp, which will also require you to be exalted with Hellscream's Reach, for 165 commendations and then you have the spectral steed which is the alliance exclusive mount which is purchased from quartermaster brazzi in the baradin base camp uh, for 165 commendations and requires you to be exalted with baradin's wardens next up we have the timeless iron mount this is purchased using the currency bloody coin of which you will need 500 to purchase the ash hide mushan beast this obtaining this one is quite complicated, so bear with me. The bloody coins required to purchase this mount can only be obtained by engaging in a special type of PvP on the Timeless Isle. You award the coin if you get the killing blow on a PvP opponent where you are transformed into an Orden Fire Watcher. In order to transform into a Fire Watcher, you must obtain the Fire Watcher's Oath from a Speaker Gulan on the Timeless Isle for 100 Timeless Coins. The Timeless Coins themselves are attained from killing various NPCs across the Timeless Isle, opening chests and performing various quests across the Isle itself. The buff itself allows you to attack anybody of the opposite faction where PvP is allowed, including Battlegrounds. There is another item which you can use to obtain this mount called the Center of Eternal Agony, uh, which does allow you to attack your own faction as well. However, you can't obtain more than one coin every 10 minutes. Um, and also will allow, I say, allows you to attack people of the same faction. Ashram mounts. Now these mounts are rideable by either faction. No, the sale of each one is faction restricted. Bear with me on that one. Purchase of the Red Breeze Strider, which is the first one we are looking at. Breeze Strider Stallion is obtainable from Dazarian in Warspear Ashram and requires you to be exalted with Volgin Spear and will cost you 5,000 gold and 100 marks of honor. This, per this amount is only purchasable on a Horde character, as I said, and reputation with Vulgin Spear is earned by engaging in various activities within Asheran, Trusher's events, and quests. The Alliance one, which is your Pale Fawn Grazer, is purchasable from Crafty Curse and Mindbender in Stormshield, and requires you to be exalted with Vryn's Vanguard, and will be purchasable for 5,000 gold and 100 Marks of Honor, and again, the reputation is earned in the same way as the one by completing mini events and handing in quests. Next up, we have the World PPP Achievement Mounts, with the first ones being the prestigious War Steed and the prestigious War Wolf. Uh, the Wolf being exclusive to the Horde, the Steed for the Alliance. This requires you to complete the achievement Free for All More for Me, uh, which is uh, completed by completing uh, four different PVP related world quests. 20 times each and once you've completed it on one faction you'll be rewarded with both the alliance and horde mounts for that one next up we have the conqueror's skive Maw. this is obtained from completing the quest on the horde or alliance conqueror of azeroth which will require you to do a number of achievements nine achievements in total such so which is the manda brothers bounty hunting and more supply which is basically all doing stuff in war mode like collecting uh, an airdrop, killing a certain amount of people while in the group, and all that sort of stuff. And of course, your tour of duty achievements, which is getting a thousand honor in war mode from each of the different zones. 
And then finally we have the Deathbringer's Flayed Wing, which is obtained from the Deathbringer Achievement, which is the Shadowlands PvP Meta Achievement, which this one is a brand new one. You'd have to complete Covenant Combat, Impressing as Azor, and the Many Trials of Azorg, which is similar to the other ones where you'll have to do stuff in the PvP War Mode. And of course you have your tour of duties, which is of course a thousand honor on each of the different islands in Shadowland. Next up we have the Talon's Vengeance Mount, which is the Ivory Hawk Strider. This is obtained from Trinket in High Mountain and requires you to be exalted with Talon's Vengeance and will cost you 10,000 gold. In order to access this faction, you must first earn one of the four Falcosaur mounts added in Legion and then by following the question offered by the companion pet. Then with your mount, speak to Avina in High Mountain who will then give you an Ivory Talon which you will need to use in combat in a PvP world quest and focus all areas to gain the reputation tokens in order to get up to be exalted. As an honoured, you may purchase an ivory feather which allows you to gain reputation tokens from battlegrounds and ashran as well. Vicious Saddle Rated PvP Mounts In Battle for us off, the method you obtained at these Vicious Saddles uh, and the mounts themselves has changed. To begin, you must first have earned the current season's mount in order to obtain Vicious Saddles. In order to do this, you must reach the PvP rank of Combatant during the current season, which will grant you your current mount for right now, which is Shadowlands. It is the Vicious War Spider, of course the Horde variant, and then the Alliance variant. You can obtain this by ranking by reaching a rating of 1400 for competing in 2v2, 3v3 or 10v10 arenas and battlegrounds. Once you've reached combatant ranking, you must win then further matches in the same season until your progress bar reaches 100% or 2400 points, and you'll then receive this season's mount. For every subsequent time you fill your progress bar during that same season, you will then receive a vicious saddle, which can then be used to purchase older vicious mounts. There is also a note on this that once you've started getting it in one of the varieties 2v2, 3v3 or 10v10, you can only get it in that one. You can't then go to 2v2 and then some in 3v3 and so on and so on. So, the mounts obtainable from the Vicious Saddles, not including the Spiders, as we've just gone over. We have, for the Horde, Vicious White Bone Steed, Alliance Vicious White War Saber, Vicious War Basilisk Alliance, Vicious War Basilisk Horde, Vicious Black Bonestead Horde, Vicious Black Walk Saber Alliance, Vicious War River Beast Alliance, Vicious War Cleft Hoof Horde, Vicious War Steed for the Alliance, Vicious War Wolf, which is a Horde, Vicious Kaldori War Saber Alliance, Vicious Skeletal War Horse for the Horde, the Vicious War Ram for the Alliance, Vicious War Raptor for the Horde, Vicious War Mecha Strider for the Alliance, Vicious War Kodo for the Horde of course, Vicious Golnay and the War Horse, the Vicious War Trike, first one for the Alliance, second one for the Horde, as that what it'll be as well for the whole thing, Vicious War Alec, Vicious War Strider, Vicious War Turtle Alliance, Vicious War Turtle Horde, Vicious War Lion, the Vicious War Scorpion, Vicious War Bear Alliance, Vicious War Bear Horde, Vicious War Fox Alliance, and the Vicious War Fox for the Horde. Arena Mounts. Now these are only obtainable for the one season which they are in the game. For example, the previous season which had just ended contained the Corrupted Gladiators Proto Drake. Battlefields of Season 4, that is now gone, you can't obtain that one anymore. The current season, which we are on now, is the Sinful Gladiator Soul Eater for Sutherland Season 1. These are given out to the top ranking arena teams at the end of each PvP season. Um, of course, once the next season begins, the previous mount is unavailable. The current one, which is the Sinful Gladiator Soul Eater, as I said, does have other colour variants, which are obtainable from subsequent um, maxings of your bar during the same season and that is all the pvp mouse so if you enjoyed it forget to push the like button leave a comment down below of course subscribe to the new channel for my twitter link down below as always and let's just say i've been next door and i'll see you in the next world of warcraft video thanks a lot for watching